via our Maddie, uh, Maddie in the morning. So shout out to Maddie. Woo -woo. Is it live? Is this thing on? It is. Thank you so much, Beauty, from your team. We appreciate you. So Mighty Me 400, um, Andrea Bell and Pat Scannell, thank you guys so much. They did the hashtag, ha hashtag Mighty Send Me, hashtag Rush TV. We appreciate, appreciate you guys so much. It means a lot to us. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, we love you guys for being here. Now you guys are new, so now you guys are part of the family. So when people use the term like rights, it's such a loose term. Restructuring, changing, growing as individuals and growing as humans and societies, I think yeah, we should be able to create more rights that um, that serve serve the the masses of the people. We need to learn our rights and things uh, because there are people in power every day that are doing it. To the humble show. And it's your boy, always and forever, at Trovis Music on everything. And you already know who we be. He's the girl, Jimmy B. Yo, this your boy, Alex, Andre, Clown Lamps. Hey, it's your girl, Phoenix, singer, songwriter, rapper, media, personality. Yeah, this is Osa, the healer, Black Fathers Matter. From all of New York, at Poe. And Brooklyn is definitely in the building, you feel me? I'm in the D.C. area. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Trovis Music here, and we're getting right to it for our topic of the day, the homo's George Carlin's rights. So, Aaron, our show producer, feels awkwardly whenever he hears people talk about their rights as citizens, especially African-American citizens, because he feels that if he gets the... If you get the right person in power on the wrong day, all of our rights can be nullified and what, and what may result in the life or death situation. He says, I agree with George Collins talk about rights. And we saw the video, if you guys didn't see it, we get, we'll share it with you guys as well. But there was a video we saw, and one of the things he said in this video was, rights aren't rights if someone can take them away. They're privileges, temporary, pri temporary privileges. Um, temporary privileges, sorry. So, wow, that's kind of deep when you think about, when you think about that. So to George Carlin and to all of this, um, I have to say, you know, as, sorry. <clears throat> so what I have to say to this and what I feel about all this in general is that I feel like what Aaron said, if you get the wrong person in power at the right time, that things, our rights can be nullified. That's why it's important for us as a people to have the power to our rights, you know? And I don't know how to have power to our rights. It starts with knowing and having knowledge in our rights. And then knowing and having knowledge of the rights and the wisdom, it starts with us pairing up together the people who do, who do know those things. There's a lot of people who know shit that don't teach nobody else. So all you're gonna do is take it with you to the grave when you die. Like, to me, that makes no sense. Like, mm -hmm. utilize the knowledge that you have now to be able to help those that are around you. These are our people. We are one. Like, I don't know why, People allow systemically things to make us feel like we're crabs in a barrel, but we are one, people. Like, I don't understand why people still think that way, but I'm hoping now, and, you know, 2020, and all that we've been through, that people can realize that, you know, our rights that we thought we had, we didn't have, and we know that now. They've been throwing it in our faces and putting it on our knees for so long. So now, you know what? Boom. These are our rights, and let's take our power back. Let's take our power back into our rights. So um, I'm going to move things over to o um, Osa. What do you think about this? Yeah, I um, I mean, I think I, I saw the George Carlin what he said about those 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 rights. I mean, yeah, I I, I agree. I think when anywhere that you live, your rights are dictated by who runs the the country. And unfortunately, like particularly in this country, the people that that ran the country uh, made rights for whites um, and 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 George Carlin's ancestors. So. You know, I think that, uh, yeah, restructuring, changing, growing as individuals and growing as humans and societies, I think, yeah, we should be able to create more rights that um, that serve serve the, the masses of the people. However, yeah, but, you know, it's all, it's all, see, everybody got different perspectives, right? Honestly, like, when I heard the George, what, what George Carlin say, it sounded like he was speaking, um, he was speaking about, he started talking to all this stuff. It sounds like he does. He's kind of. He doesn't like what he believes God has done with rights, and he was questioning. Right. It sounded like he was questioning right. a lot about God. He sounded a little bit kind of atheist to me, which is no right. problem. Which is no problem. But I'm not atheist, so how how are him and I gonna sit down at yeah. the table and yeah. come up with rights if my basis for rights are based on on God, and then he 
you know, it, you know, so it's tricky. It's tricky. That's where I'm at. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you so much. Um, Alex, you were saying something or you wanted to jump in there? What do you think about this? Well, I was saying like when he was like um, questioning God and stuff, it kind of like um, made me question his judgment, I guess, based on my belief and my faith. You know, me as a Christian, I'm going to protect, I guess, my faith. But I mean, even in that, besides the point of that with the right thing, I feel like us as black people in general, our rights have always been nullified and they have been thrown in there. Um, but we do have these rights and even though they weren't written for us, we kind of just got thrown in. They was like, oh, I guess y'all free now. Mm-hmm. Now we all people, oh yeah, ha ha ha. Um, we need to learn our rights and things uh, because there are people in power every day that are doing it. Nullifying our rights every day and we don't know what we can do um, just as, as a people to uh, get past that. Mm-hmm. Most times, we just talk about police officer. You don't even got to roll down your window. You can talk to them through the window. People don't know that. You do not have to get out the car. <laughs> People don't know that. Come on. Team member, make the gym work. That's the thing that we need to know. You know, that's why we teach each other that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Knowledge is power. Miss Phoenix, talk to me. Um, when I think about rights, I think about human rights first, even though I'm a black woman. So when people use the term, like, rights, it's such a loose term because... Mm-hmm you could use something as a prejudice to someone else and then there'd be a prejudice against you. So it's like, for instance, when we come to like LGBT matters, that's why we're even like starting to have inclusion and using the word inclusion because even when people started to fight for the rights of LGBTQ, they weren't necessarily including black LGBTQ when they were having those conversations. They were just talking about their rights and what they wanted, still, which was still stemming from white entitlement. You know what I mean? So, like, even in these subdivisions, when we use the word rights, it's such a loose term because it could work for you and against you at the same token, depending on what you represent, your lifestyle, your demographic, how much money you make. So um, I I feel like maybe we need to just eradicate that word and find a new word. Gotcha. And, and also to bring, like, Aaron said something about a dude that a dude with knowledge was shot in the car. Um, I mean, <laughs> I love Aaron. Um, bringing it to light, which is true, you know, even though you have this knowledge and you know things, um, you know, it still doesn't stop you from being someone who can be subject to it. Um, there are ways to, you know, there are ways around it and there are things in place. But before we get to that, I want to talk to Ms. Yuri, just being heard from Ms. Yuri G. Ms. Yuri G, what is your intake on all of this? Um, I think rights are there to just say that you have them. I believe that rights are something that's very much like the purge. Um, you can purge on whoever you want to as long as they're not law official and et cetera. So when it comes to rights, they're above your rights. So they can handle you any way they feel like because they're above that law. So, um, yeah, that's just how I feel about it, um, actually, because your rights only apply when you're dealing with another citizen. But if there's someone who's a police officer a law official, governor, senator, you're losing because they have a team behind them and they're above the law. Um, yeah, I see above the law and around, there's so many ways that those are things that got caught up in the situation we've been in because it's always because of something somebody has power over us to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and it feels like that, you know, because we don't have the same kind of access that they have, you know, it causes us to feel, you know, be in situations we are in and go through the things that we're going through and be in the places that we're in. But, you know, there are ways and there are things out there. Maybe some of you never heard of it before. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. You maybe I think knowledge is power and sharing knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So the one I did something that I'm like, I posted on my Instagram video. If you guys see in, in the chat, there was a video from Instagram. I mean, it was pictures from Instagram. It was like, have you ever been in this situation before? And it was people being arrested, you know, or people being harassed by the police. And, 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 and I posted that on my Instagram earlier this week. So it was kind of funny. Like, it just all played into what we had going on. And, you know, I was one of those people that have experience being, you know, um, stopped by the police for no reason while I was on the street or in my car. Um, and so, you know, there are ways and knowledge and, and things that we have now to help us get our power back. And I'm, I'm working with some people that know how to do that. So if anybody's out there and you want to know, you know my, I tell you my Instagram a million times and everything, just hit, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? The knowledge is power. And I think the more that we em- empower each other, you know what I'm saying? The more that we tell each other and get each other the, the power back, then that's what's important. And so that's what we need to do no matter what. If you know something I don't know, tell me. 
Let me see, let me know about it so that we can share that knowledge and so that we can then become powerful as one. It's important that we understand it's we. It's a we thing. So we're not crabs in the brow, it's a we. So <clears throat> in closing this out, I'm gonna repeat the question again for those. I got, I got oh, you. go ahead, Yumi, go ahead, go ahead. Um, the only thing that I have about me is the knowledge for our community isn't helpful until the aftermath. Like in the situation, you're guilty until proven innocent. And so um, the knowledge only helps in the aftermath, and that's if you survive it. Um, like I have not, like um, Aaron said, the man had all that knowledge and still was shot in his car or whatever. So knowledge isn't going to help you in this situation when there's nobody there to regulate these people who are above the law. It isn't until there's a room and it's put in a public viewing place, not a one-on-one -on -one interaction, that it's going to apply to anything. Yes, having the knowledge is great, but it's not helpful for us until the aftermath. I, I mean, I understand what you're saying. It definitely is. Now, that's why now, you know what I'm saying, having, do, you know, if we could all have our own lawyer, then we would be fine because we'll have somebody to help us get through these things. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll have somebody that represents the same way they got representation. So I think it's important that, again, the knowledge is out there to know about these things. Hit me up if you want to know more. Lawyer, you, you, need, you, need, you need to know some things. I got you. But without further ado, gentlemen, this is the end of our show. It's been amazing. I'm going to repeat the topic one more time for those that are on our YouTube who want to um, follow us and what we're doing and want to be to fit. They want to bring themselves into what we're saying. So the topic was <clears throat> the topic was the homos George Carlin's rights. And so with that we talked about sorry sorry okay here it is aaron feels awkwardly whenever he hears people talk about their rights as a citizen especially african-american citizens, because he feels that if you get the right person in power on the wrong day all of our rights could be nullified and what may result in a life of that situation he said he agrees with a george collins we watched a george collins video as a team and then he agrees with the george collins talk about rights and one of the things that stuck out was rights are rights if someone can take them. Rights on rights if someone can take them away. There are privileges, temporary privileges. So if you guys want to weigh in on that, please um, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the bottom. This is how I feel. We really love that. We do get back to people. We are like, we're not too fancy, too bougie. We've been doing this for a year. We love what we do. But we are definitely connected to our people. So um, we're definitely connected to our people and connected to you. So um, before we end up, we're going to make sure everyone tells us. Um, what their name is um, on Instagram, so social media, how we can find them. Um, and that way, you know, all these amazing people we have on the show today was super dope. Thank you guys so much, first and foremost, um, all of you guys in the room. You're like, we couldn't have did this without you. Today was very insightful. It was an awesome show. And um, you guys, man, I'm telling you, we're changing the world by doing what we're doing right now. So without further ado, again, we had an awesome show today. Thank you guys to all the people in the room. Um, shout out to your mother and themselves. Thank you guys so much for being here. So we're going to go around and get your information just a little bit. Tell the people what's your name, your Instagram, you know, and um, so they can find you if they want to, you know, look you up. You're going to start with my boy. Also, tell them where you at, where you from. We ain't going to tell them where you from, but just tell them where to find you all that good stuff. Yeah, this is Osa the Healer. Find me on Instagram at osathehealer.com. That's O-S-A the Healer uh, oh, yeah. on Instagram. Damn, just like that. I know they're going to be looking. Um, all right, um, <laughs> Phoenix, talk to me. Tell them, tell them where they can find you if they want to look you up and find out more about um, you. Um, yes, that's Phoenix, P-H-O-E-N-I-X-X. -X. Yes, that's straight across, no, no underscores, none of that. And I'm also on Twitter, Phoenix Wax. I love Twitter, so if you're on Twitter, holla at me. Mm. Um, and I just dropped a new single, y'all, new video on my channel, Phoenix Wax R&B record. It's called Halfway. Go check it out. Yes, long hair, Phoenix, yes. <laughs> um, Alex. Talk to me. Tell them where to find you and all that good stuff. Your cloud, your cloud clamp, lap. Yes. Cloud yes. lamp. Sorry, I got it. Yes, yes. I am Alex. You can find me at Alexander. So A L X A N D E R. So I guess a regular way how you spell it. Then E E S E. So it's a combination of my first. It's a combination of my name and my last name. So it's Alexander Reeves. So yeah, and I also make cloud lamps. There you go. Yeah, I want to look that up. I want to know what that's about. The pictures. I'm going to send you some pictures. Yeah, it's supposed to be cool. And if you want to check that out, too, it's Cloud, C-L-O-U-U-D, Lamps on Instagram.